Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the seventh day comic book news recap video. I'm gonna say the seventh day in every video now because because you're Adam from Geekrest, <laughs> and I'm Aaron from Comic Shop I Comic keep, Show. Yep, keep forgetting that I'm, I have an identity. Um, this is the week before New York City Comic Con. Yes, and there's you know the the calm before the storm type reference. This is a calm. There isn't that much. Do there's not. teasers that we're sure they're going to announce at New York Comic Con. Of course they are. There's no way they would tease something before the Comic Con and not announce it at Comic Con. At That's Comic Con. Yeah. So uh, again, nothing's confirmed. But Marvel now still steamrolling ahead. Right. Two more teasers this week. Uh, what was it? it? One was, and these are the title card teasers that they've been throwing out the past couple of months. Amateurs and Savage. Yeah, amateurs with the, with the claw mark through the. By Kieran Gillen, that um, does Journey Mystery, mm -hmm. and you know we already saw a snippet from the point one that's him doing Young Avengers with Loki. Yeah. Loki's a kid. He does Loki. He is doing that story. I mean, it, to me, it's going to be Young Avengers. I but mean, he also had cool. like what, Wiccan and Hulkling. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be young. It's a youth-based title, right? Of uh, amateurs, pretty sure. Of amateurs, right? And uh, but I'd love that creative team because they they've worked together on several books before. Phonogram. Yes. Was awesome, yeah. uh, the image books. Uh, so, excited for that. And Frank Cho on Savage. Savage. Which is either Savage Land, like the, the She Devil and uh, Kazar and Zebu or Nabu or, <laughs> Nabu. <laughs> or um, maybe people are saying Wolverine, but there's always been like Wolverine in the Savage Land. He has that whole Savage Land costume that, yeah. you know, he had that 90s action figure of or whatnot. But, and Frank uh, Cho, he did, uh, he did Shauna. Yeah, Gable. and what he's really good at is the jungle stuff. He's really good at jungle stuff. He has babes and apes and yeah. all that stuff. You yeah, know? So I, I don't think it's Wolverine. And if it is, like you said, it's he's going to be Wolverine in, in Savage, Savage Land. Land. Yeah, that's cool. But it's really the three strike marks that people are trying to you know to do something from. Right. But then the other thing is, if it's not Wolverine, what's Wolverine? What's, Wolverine? what's his title going to be? Who's going to be on it? He hasn't it, been Savage in a while. People don't you know. Yes, he's been a he's teacher. A teacher. Professorial. <laughs> professor <laughs> um, and so and you know the other thing is probably uh, Gardens of the Galaxy which hasn't been teased other than oh, yeah. you know Marvel is doing some actual stuff they're selling directly to the fans at New York Comic Con the first time they're doing this at a con yeah. and we're going to be there yeah. excited I want that like I survived the Battle of New York so t-shirt and, and the uh, Rocket Raccoon mug that Bendis tumbled yeah Bendis uh, tumbled a little picture of, from the Marvel store of Rocket Raccoon on a mug, new merchandise featuring, you know... Why would that interest would him so much to, to do that if he wasn't going to be doing Guardians of the Galaxy? He's doing and Guardians if he's not, the then who is doing Guardians of the Galaxy? They're in the spotlight. And Avengers why would Assemble he... Avengers Assemble put him there. Yes. The movies put him there. Who's going to be Avengers on? Assemble put him there by Bendis. So, I mean, he's setting up his own thing, yeah. you know? So, it's going to be great, and... I, I can't wait for New York Comic Con when we can actually talk all this stuff. Like, what, what um, Avengers Omega is going to be? Is that going to be Bendis' end, his final story on the Avengers? Or yeah. is it going to be end of days Avengers, like the final Avengers story? Or is it just going to be some Omega level threat that uh, Hickman's going to do in his <laughs> thing? Who the hell knows? No one knows. Well, but I mean, we will know today. Well, and at we'll, 3 o'clock. By the time this video is out, we'll all know. So right. if you want to take a guess at anything, now's your chance to. I don't know what it is. I don't know. No idea what it is. I think it's going to be one of the three possibilities I said, which <laughs> I know that, you know, I'm, but there's nothing more to go on than the teaser. Yeah. So, you know. It's uh, Avengers Sorority. Yes. Cap. Maybe. Lambda. Well, Put money on it. Right. Uh, but as far as the, uh, you know, exclusives and limited stuff that's going around in the world, IDW Limited was announced. And this is, I mean, it's really, I would say it's for collectors. Yeah, collectors with lots of money. And I would have a problem exist. with that, but it's really good material. It's super limited, it's... super rare, where IDW is selling directly to the customers, mm -hmm. which might piss off some retailers. Yeah. I'm a retailer. You What's a little bit weird about it was they were selling these retailer incentive covers on there yeah. that are retail incentive covers. They're not them, they're retailer incentives. But if the retailers didn't make the order incentives to get them, yeah. what the heck are they supposed to do with them, you know? Mm -hmm. And IDW is also cool in that when we make the incentives, they give us the variants free. Where the other places, mm -hmm. when you make the incentives, you got to pay for it. Boom for does that. too. Boom gives us two and gives us the incentives for That's free cool. as well. But they're the only two. Um, the first title they launched out of that was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right. collection, and it's a three-tier system. 
They're and limited more by and 175. More. And more. <laughs> it's, like, it's like they do the whole... Uh, They're like, know, yeah, we just did 10 of these. And, and it's like, yeah, they, do, okay. they do the whiskey system, or, which is, you know, the black label, the blue label, and the, the red label. And, yeah. you know, I mean, they've been doing this stuff for a while now with those um, big oversized art, you know, mm-hmm. books where you're actually seeing the Bristol board or whatnot. Yeah, you right. Know? And, uh, you know, you see the eraser marks, you, you see, like, I want to you see the that. white out on it, but... Uh, <laughs> like, you see one of his nostril sweat. hairs is still <laughs> like, oh. but anyway, <laughs> if this was the That's old the turtle movie. stuff, I'd be totally about it. It's the new stuff, which I think it's cool. But honestly, it's as soon as something like this is done, where it's something that I really, really, really like, like one of my like favoriteest things, You're gonna my most it. favorite things, it's three hundred fifty dollars, and there's only ten made. Hell's yeah! Yeah, and they sold out, of course. Yeah, like instantly. But yeah, like you said, the, the rarest is 10, only 10 copies made. And it 25. is weird that they're going directly to the customers, but you know, whatever. I mean, it's their licensed property. It's the artists that are working for them. The artists should get a huge cut of that money. Yeah. So I'm just going to assume that the artists get a huge cut of that yeah, money. Yeah, let's assume that and, it's going um, to And IDW them. Is, is, you know, being very nice to their artists. It's a nice perk that the creators get yeah. with them. And, you know, I'm selling their books and I'm happy. So. And for the truest fans, these are awesome collections to have. So. And the haters, I mean, you guys can't afford it, you know? You can't afford it. I can't afford everything, I can't afford and it. you know, like I, I, I realize it. as I am getting older, I'm 36, and I can start to afford some mm-hmm. extra stuff, and I really prioritize things and whatnot. That I used to hate on a lot of things. That you know, there's no reason to hate on it. I just can't afford everything, so I'm only get the stuff I really like, and I don't have to yeah. hate on stuff that I marginally like just to justify me not getting it. Like I didn't want right. it anyway. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you cranky old man. <laughs> no, I'm getting less cranky. Yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> it's like the, the cranky adolescence or something. I was pissed. It's, it's the, like all this cool stuff, and I can't afford it. Comic book adolescence, you become less cranky as, as you get older. <laughs> right. You get more mellow. <laughs> you mellow out. Um, and then uh, comic book, you know, like you said, New York City Comic Con. We'll have so much to report so from So much that. more. Ridiculous amounts um, of stuff. And there's like little fun stuff that's coming out. They Like Arrow is coming up. Actually, that's going to premiere, I think, during Comic Con weekend it premieres it's, it's on, the, um, on the 10th on the Wednesday okay and yeah. then Comic-Con starts on the Thursday I mean they might have a screening of a future episode there who knows that'd but, be cool because we saw the premiere pilot months ago months ago and it, it was actually it was quite good. good it's really good and you know I mean yes yeah, CW can put together a good pilot now and then mm-hmm. and the proof's gonna be in the the serial nature episode after episode are they going to be formulaic? Yeah. Or are they going to be awesome and actually kind of build and you know definitely set the tone for the series? I'm curious to see how much they change from the pilot that we saw, if anything. Yeah, but because I liked it, I don't think they should change anything from it. I mean, it was hardcore. If they don't have Ollie snapping that dude's neck for literally almost no reason, just like ah, I, I caught up to you, tag, you're dead. <laughs> you know, like because so I mean to me that's like. That's why it's not Batman. That's why this is not just Batman with a bow and arrow. He's Ain't a completely small different demeanor. Yeah. yeah, that's why they couldn't have the Smallville guy because this is the tone of this is gritty, realistic, and deadly. And it's they're not. They're bringing in White China and Huntress, and they just released stills this past week of Deadshot. Right. And you know, it looks a little. Eh. It looks weird. I, I, get, I give it the benefit of the doubt. It's, he's got a cookie cutter eyeball, but uh, you know. <laughs> I have faith in this show, so and these characters and Jeff Johns writing an episode. I'm sure he may do more. Right, it looks cool. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be fun, and we're going to have the free comic book on Wednesday when it comes out next week. Yes, you here. are. And then you know, then I'll be at New York Comic Con. Yeah. And uh, Marvel Animation Studios is getting ready to release their first. What is it? Iron Man and Hulk. Wait, I have it written down. Heroes United. It's a new anima- animated film. It's it's half CGI, half sketch work. And the only reason why I bring it up is one because the stills just came out and it's a team up of Iron Man and Hulk. And they said they're using uh, the same kind of buddy formula that they had in the Avengers. So it's not directly. Banner and Tony buddy was cool in that, you know? Like, yeah. odd couple, they're both scientists, but they both approach anything from like completely different. Right. You know? But they're, you know, together in the end, which is what matters. But I don't know, I like. All these animated movies, you know, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns came out. That was good. Amazing. And, I mean, DC, actually, most of their luck seems to come from animated films and not 
motion pictures. Even all the way back to their anime series. Yeah. The Batman anime series, the JLU, all that Thank stuff. Thank you, Bruce Timm. And the um, Mask of the Phantasms, one of the best Batman oh, so good. feature length thing mm -hmm. ever. You yeah. know? So. so these are just good formats for team ups. Like stuff you can't do uh, on the big screen yet for DC, at least I should say. Um, but I mean, check out the stills. They look awesome. D new style, new aesthetic, and you know, Hulk and Iron Man. Yeah, it's nice. Um, and then, I mean, really, the news stops there as far as the stuff we can really talk about without. You know, yeah, we already said speculation about uh, Bendis and Guardians of the Galaxy. There's huge speculation about Scott Snyder on Superman. Man of Steel, which... That's would, the biggest thing that I can hope for. I would bet money on that because, come on, I mean, Grant Morrison's leaving action, and, mm -hmm. you know, he's had good success on it, but he's had his detractors, and, uh -huh. and so, you know, the Superman book should have been the flagship book that, you know, that just, people that love Superman would like, not just Grant Morrison fans for action, mm -hmm. and it just never took off. And in my opinion, they had old school dudes doing what should have been like a new version of Superman right. and it just never really connected. I mean what, they got like a 10, 11 Batman family titles and maybe four Superman out right now? Like well, the ratio is strange too. It's, it, it's always been similar to that but to me it's just like when they're relaunching everything they should have put a, a young guy with a lot of just oomph behind it, like a lot of passion, like Scott and Snyder scene, yeah. with the Quarter Isles and Batman, Scott Snyder with Swamp Thing, right. Jeff Lemire with Animal Man, you know they should have had someone that's just like Cutting edge, kicking ass, yeah. full speed ahead. This is the man of tomorrow, not the man of the guys you read yesterday. The guys, not, not yeah. the man of like uh, that killed Superman back in the '90s. You mm -hmm. know, like I'm not trying to deride the creators. I'm just saying no. these creators had their time with these characters, and now let's do something completely fresh and new for the new 52. New generation, new 52. So, yeah. to me, I'd bet money on Scott Snyder. Man of Steel on Man of Steel, probably um, fifth wave. Or something. Yeah. Middle next year. Yeah, they're they're saying they want it out for the movie. Suppose that's the speculation. Yeah, I mean that's what that a perfect, perfect time. And we need a Man of Steel title. I love Man of Steel. And what yeah. else are they gonna have for their next wave? I mean, who knows? I know what I want. I want a freaking Doom Patrol, and I don't want it yeah, by Bob Bell. Cool. I don't want it in the Young Justice Teen Titans, you know, um, house. I want it in the the Dark House. The, yep. The DC Dark Wheelhouse. You know. I mean, I understand that. Um, you know, I guess not everyone understands, but Dial H is kind of like a one-man Doom Patrol. It's just a bunch no, of wackadoo things. Yeah. But, but you know, I would like a Doom Patrol. I would like, I would like something. I think the DC Dark deserves another, another title because they're doing so well um, right. in the next wave. Um, as long as they got the good writers behind it. Yeah. I mean, that's a book that can go wrong. So fast. I apologize right now that we don't have any concrete news. And, and if you're not going to New York Comic Con, I don't want to sound like it's a cool brag that we're going. But we're Which going, really so um, we're going to bring a lot of a lot of um, personality and cool opinions oh, yeah. and cool cool news. Um, you know that we'll be on the floor. We'll be on the floor. We'll be in the See bars. It. We're gonna we're well, gonna be. We'll be on the floor of the bars. Right. Well, you know, we we won't just be at the panels reporting what people are saying on the panels. We're gonna be. We're gonna be talking trying to these people. Yeah. I got dude. I got so many things lined up. I'm talking to so many people, and cool. they, they they know I'm coming. And we'll share all this with you guys. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait till next week. That's there the excitement happens. Calm before the storm, like I said. But, you know, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, stay tapped in, tuned in, and uh, we'll see you next week on New York City. Thanks. Bye-bye.